Welcome back to Photoshop. So sorry for the delay, I have been sick. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at something under the filter menu called lighting effects. Now there are three different lighting effects in this filter, but we're gonna be taking a look only at the point lighting effect today. It will be easier to understand if I just do one at a time. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is duplicate your background. So I'm gonna hit Command J or Control J on a PC it duplicate this background. This is going to make it easier to blend these two and get the correct opacity of the effect on the final image. The next thing you need to check is to make sure that your image is in 8 bit. So I've converted this to 16 bit. So if we go up here to filter, down to render, you'll notice that lighting effects is blocked out. Lighting effect is not available in 16-bit, which sucks, but can't use it if it's not available. So we're going to have to convert this over to 8 bits. So here we go. We've got our 8-bit image, and now if we go up to Filter and down to Render and over to Lighting Effects, it's available, but it is. We won't worry about it. So now we're in the Lighting Effects menu, and you can see we've got Point, here's Spot, Infinite, but we're going to stick with Point. We have this little green circle and in here we can kind of allows us to move the brightness up or down however we want it. We can also drag this and put it wherever we want but today we're just going to leave that right over top of her face. First thing that we have is the intensity so we can make it brighter or as dark as we want so I'm just going to bring this up. I don't want to, in this case, sort of blow her face out where we start getting that really white stuff. Just not my cup of tea. So I'm just going to make this bright, but make so sure it doesn't blow out any sort of issue or any section of her face. The next thing we have is this kind of gloss, so we can make this more of a matte look, or more of a gloss look. As simple as just dragging this slider up and down to get the effect that you want. We also have a metallic, so it's giving you more of a metallic look and less of a metallic look, which is sort of flat. We'll just leave it in the middle for today, just because I personally don't really care. Ambient light is what is around it, so we can slide this and make the ambient light around the section where we're going to adjust brighter or darker. I'm going to lower this just a little bit because I can see that we're blowing that out a hair. So we're going to go ahead and just bring this ambient light up. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is where using two different layers we can blend the opacity and get it back exactly where we want it. So we're going to brighten this up or we can darken it a little bit until we have it where we think we like it. And once we're done we're just going to come up here and hit OK. So here's our image. What we've done to it, I'll just simply turn this on and off, is we've just made a point of light and that is kind of almost done like a vignette. Now this is something that we can obviously do in a curves adjustment layer, but we're going to do it here in pinpoint. If I want to lower the opacity of this effect, I can simply come up here to opacity and lower this. So this is still giving us some brightness here in the face, but it is giving us more ambient light or temperature up here. So we've gone from this to this. We're adding a little bit of lighting drama to this image. And this is basically what you would do. It's a little bit too dark here still, and this is looking okay. So I think I would probably go back in and adjust it a bit. We'll do a second one just so you can see how this works. So once again, Command J to duplicate the layer. Go up to Filter, down to Render, to Lighting Effects. And we will move this right over in front of this little guy here. We can brighten it up a little bit, I think. Wrong one. Brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm going to add some color to this image and warm it up. So right here where it says color, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to select a new color. So we will come over here. we got kind of this nice kind of golden yellow orange. And I could switch it or change it if I want to make it more red or more golden. And we're just going to come over here, start picking some colors of light. So I think I get something that I like. That looks pretty good and I'm going to hit OK. But we can see that this has warmed up this image here considerably. 
I'm going to come here to the ambient light and I'm just going to darken that down a bit. If that looks pretty good to me, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. This image here, and this is how it was originally, kind of backlit and blown out. And now we're kind of warming that light up and adding a pinpoint. Now, one thing I would do is probably come in here and crop this. We're going to make this a little bit more symmetrical of an image, at least from where the boy stands. And so now we've got this nice kind of lighting effect that's illuminating and giving a nice golden glow as this kid runs across this little bridge or little room. So we've gone from this to this. That's how you use the pinpoint lighting effect. It's actually really easy to use and it can add a little bit of drama to any image within Photoshop. If you have any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.